Hello everyone and welcome to my new channel. Now, um, seeing as this is my first video, I thought a small introduction would be in order. My name is Rob and I am going to be a full-time student starting this September. I am actually starting new courses. However, uh, over the summer, I, um, I'm foreseeing a lot of free time, so I thought I'd be showing the peoples of YouTube uh, some of the games I play. Now. My gaming history is not that interesting, I've only started playing online shooters when uh, Unreal Tournament was released, so I guess I'm not that old. I, I've been playing a lot of enemy territory when that was all the rage. I've been in some MMOs, but the, uh, the gist of my online experiences comes from shooters, so you'll be seeing a lot of that on this channel. Of course, there is going to be uh, other stuff online as well as offline, because I'm always curious uh, to try new games but I enjoy online shooters the most and enjoyment is really what it's all about which is one of the things I wanted to talk about you guys in my first video. Now as you can see from the footage in the background I have been playing an awful lot of, uh, of Tribes Ascent. I've been playing a lot of Juggernaut lately mostly indoors uh, defending the generator instead of capturing the flag which uh, some people seem to hate but to me that is the thing I enjoy the most in this game. Now, for people who don't know what a Juggernaut does, or, or who don't know what Tribes is for that matter, the Juggernaut, the class that I'm currently playing, is a heavy class, so heavy armor, uh, heavy weapons, but doesn't run really fast. And uh, the Juggernaut is supposed to, and, and I use uh, supposed to very loosely here, because Tribes is usually a game where people play in very distinct and different playstyles using classes, well, very rarely for what they're intended to. But the Juggernaut is supposed to stand on a hill and shell the enemy base with mortar fire, uh, killing defenses, and just people running about outside. Now, as you can see, I have in my hands a big-ass whooping shell firing mortar gun that looks like it wants to deliver death from over a mile away. However, I am not going to let it do that because I am going to stay indoors and I'm going to try and use the bounciness and the huge, huge explosive radius of the shells you fire to defend my team's generator as best as possible and as best as I can. Now, this seems to occasionally enrage other members of my team as they think I should be taking it outside and doing the thing I just mentioned, you know, standing up on a hill. But that just isn't any fun to me, or, or I don't know, maybe I'm not very good at it. But either way, I feel a lot less effective and I feel as though I'm getting a lot less... Um, satisfying kills. I mean, sure, it's cool to see your shell explode from over a mile away killing someone or maybe getting a double kill. I've seen those videos. I like it too, but I'm just not good enough. So for now, I'm going to stick um, to defending the generator room. Now, usually nobody comments on my being there most of the time, but about a week ago, uh, one gentleman felt the need to contact me and actually give me a lecture about it. We, we've been playing for uh, for a game of three, I think, and he was on my team all the time. But uh, at the end of the, the third match, he actually, I, th I think he added me to his friends list. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but uh, he added me to his friend list and contacted me through the in-game tribes chat and started ranting at me how I wasn't playing the game properly and how he wished that all the noobs would get out, you know. All that sort of thing, and I won't mention his name because he was obviously having a bad day, and I, we made up for it in the end. But he raised a point at me to with me that um, he was not agreeing with the way that I was spending my time in the game, and he thought I was uh, wasting a spot on his team by camping in the generator room. So I wasn't really seeing the, the point of his rant, and I wasn't really feeling that I was doing anything wrong. So I, I kindly addressed him and asked him what he thought was wrong, and he explained the above to me, uh, how he thought there were fixed classes, and how that wasn't for nothing, that the developers had intended for Juggernauts to be outside, and I blatantly disagreed with him. I basically told him, look, this is how I played a class, and if you want to be a juggernaut on a hill shooting stuff from afar, then be my guest. Have all the fun you can have. I wish you all the fun you can have. And we stopped fighting, and, you know, he apologized, which I thought was very quarterly of him, and, you know, hugs, hugs, kisses, kisses. And uh, he is actually still on my friends list, and we do play a whole lot. And um, you know that that's also that's also a way to make friends, I guess. It's not how I usually do it, but 
I like playing with them now. But it made me kind of curious about uh, how some of you play games, and then in particular uh, class-based games, and use a class in a way that it's not intended. I know that for the longest time that as an engineer in Team Fortress 2, when they just got the ability to build the sentry guns, that an engineer would get a lot of grief if he'd get a kill with a sentry cut because the person they just killed would just start an all-out rant about how they weren't using their gun and how it was, um, I guess, not the way that the developers intended the, the, the engineer to be played, you know? And all that made me just think, well, why did they put the, the sentry gun in there then if we're not supposed to use it? And if everyone's gonna give us a hard time whenever they stand in front of it, they know they're gonna get shot by it. It's an automated thing. It's an automated gun. You stand in front of an enemy sentry gun, you're gonna die. So, and that cleared up over the, the, the weeks following the release of the sentry gun, and we all became friends again. Everything was good, hugs and kisses. But it kinda got me curious uh, if you guys ever use a class, or a weapon for that matter, in an online multiplayer game, in a way that wasn't intended or is very surprising to other players. It might be effective, it might not be effective at all, as long as you get, you know, enjoyment out of it. As long as it's fun to you, what have you been doing with certain classes in certain games? And also, have you been getting a lot of grief about it and what was your response to that grief? Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to discuss the topic with each other if you have any questions post them there as well. I will try to read them all and respond to them in a timely manner. If you have any hints or tips on uh, how to improve my video or the channel, feel free to leave me a comment, drop me a line. If you uh, liked this video, remember to click like. You guys would really help me out with that. And if you really loved my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You'll be doing me a huge favor and I'll try my best to keep you entertained. For now, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys later.